It's News at 5, watching out for you. It is 5 o'clock. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jeff Giannola. And I'm Emily Burris. Cases of COVID-19 continue to explode in Oregon, especially in many rural communities. Today, the state reported 380 new cases, seven new deaths overall. Deschutes added nine cases, Lane County eight. But check out Malheur County, 35 new cases as the county tracks down those infected by a prison outbreak. And then there's Umatilla County with 76 new cases. And as COVID-19 cases continue to go up, other states are taking measures to shut things down again. Our Lindsay Nadrich is getting answers about what that could mean for us here in Oregon. Lindsay. Well, you might remember California, Washington, Oregon, Colorado, and Nevada formed a Western States pack to move forward in reopening together to better control the spread of COVID-19. Well, yesterday we saw California close bars and restaurants, and I'm told Oregon's governor is watching the situations in our neighboring states very closely. Closing businesses again is something Governor Brown has said she doesn't want to do, but if cases continue to go up, it's not off the table. A spokesperson for her office said if Oregonians do not wear face coverings in public and limit social get togethers as much as possible, and we see COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations continue to climb in Oregon, Governor Brown will need to take more restrictive measures to contain the disease. And as we see closures again in other states, I asked Multnomah County Health Officer Dr. Jennifer Vines what criteria we'd have to meet for that to happen here. That's the million dollar question. I, I don't have a specific number or answer. There are several metrics that we keep eyes on uh, that rely on testing and whether um, cases are actually traced to other known cases, suggesting that we have, we have a sense of where the disease is spreading. This graphic shows some of those indicators they're monitoring. The red X means something isn't where it should be. Statewide, the percent of tests that are positive are going up, along with the number of new cases and the percent of cases that can't be traced to a known source. In Multnomah County, our case counts are going up and they're going up uh, fairly quickly. Uh, we account for about a quarter of the state's total cases, even though we're about a fifth of the population. Health experts say it's up to all of us to prevent the spread of COVID-19 if we want businesses to stay open. For now, that's really keeping things outside using face coverings, maintaining the six foot distance. Um, that is what's going to make the difference uh, from really from all of us behaving in ways every day uh, that protect uh, those around us and, and ourselves. Well, I also learned there's now a strain on testing supplies, so Multnomah County is dialing back some of its testing recommendations. They say you should only get tested if you've had contact with a confirmed case or if you have symptoms. If you're just worried and want to get tested, they say now is not the time to do that. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natterich, Coin 6 News. All right, thanks, Lindsay. Well, more relief is coming to Oregonians. Today, the Legislative Emergency Board approved more than $200 million to be distributed from the coronavirus relief fund. That includes 62 million for black owned businesses and organizations, 50 million for music venues and cultural organizations, and 25 million will support other small businesses. People who haven't gotten unemployment yet because of a backlog or those who missed work but don't have sick leave may also see some of that relief. Washington Governor Jay Inslee is now pausing reopenings until at least July 28th as cases continue to rise. This afternoon, the governor said the state is in trouble if people cannot knock it down. This is particularly important right now because what we do right now, this week, next week, is going to determine what this virus looks like in the fall when we're making our best efforts to have the best educational opportunities for our kids as possible. And there are more than 41,000 cases in Washington now, and the start of the new school year is only about six weeks away. Well, with national pressure mounting to bring kids back into the classrooms, Washington state leaders promise their guidelines will be based on safety first. Wayne Haverly has been talking with educators. He has the latest on school reopenings in Clark County. He joins us live in Vancouver tonight. Wayne?